Saved by the Bell, a TV series that needs no elaborate introduction. A teen sitcom that graced our screens back in the late 80s, it's a straightforward trip down memory lane. No need for fancy metaphors or intricate descriptions, just good all high school humor. Remember those carefree days of Zack, Kelly, Slater, Screech, Lisa, and Jesse. The show revolves around this bunch, navigating the ups and downs of Bayside High School. It's not just about lockers and homework, there are loads of funny, shocking, and even sad moments that'll keep you hooked. Ever found yourself reminiscing about a particular scene that left a lasting impact? Or perhaps there's a cherished memory associated with it that brings a smile to your face. Keep watching because there's a trove of amusing, surprising, and sometimes poignant facts waiting for you. And here's a question for you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. So buckle up for a trip down memory lane and let the nostalgia flow. Funny, shocking, sad it has it all. Keep watching for the good times and share your own in the comments. Enjoy the journey back in time, and remember, the show has a special place in many hearts. A viewer recently felt compelled to share thoughts on the TV series, expressing both agreement and disagreement with various comments. While acknowledging the show's unrealistic aspects, such as the set, plot, and schemes, the viewer suggests enjoying it for what it is without nitpicking. The viewer praises the characters, noting their fitting portrayal of roles. For instance, admiration is expressed for Kelly's character, Zach being likened to the viewer's experiences in their early school years and a change of opinion on Slater's character development. However, Jesse's character is noted for being irksome and a special mention is made for Lisa's appealing character. Screech's occasional annoying behavior is acknowledged, but he is described as a legendary character who induces laughter. The viewer also appreciates Mr. Belding's character despite acknowledging the unrealistic friendship dynamics between a principal and students. Specific episodes are highlighted such as Jesse's song, Fake Ides, Palm Springs Weekend, and Rockumentary, with a lament that some of the best episodes were not aired enough during reruns. Criticism is directed towards episodes where characters like Jesse and Kelly leave only to be replaced by Tori, leading to a perceived decline in quality. The viewer defends the show against contemporary criticism, asserting its superiority over current television. In conclusion, the viewer appreciates the meaningfulness found in the episodes, dismissing them as never seeming pointless. The sentiment is conveyed that, despite flaws, Saved by the Bell stands as better television compared to what is currently available. The review provides a glimpse into the viewer's perspective on the show's characters and episodes, offering both praise and constructive criticism, ultimately presenting a positive view of the series. The TV series conceived in a meeting where NBC president Brandon Tartikoff suggested incorporating the word bell in the title ended up with a name saved by the bell, a choice met with initial reluctance by producer Peter Engel. Despite his dislike for the name, Angel accepted it, thinking someone else might hold the rights. Surprisingly, NBC's legal department found no ownership of the phrase, leading to the swift adoption of the title. The show's classroom scenes maintain consistency by using the same set for every instance. Additionally, post syndication, some episodes repurposed footage from Good Morning, Miss Bliss as flashbacks, specifically in scenes where Zach reminisces about his junior high school years. In essence, the simplicity of the set, creative repurposing of footage, and the origin of the show's name offer a glimpse into the pragmatic decisions shaping the iconic series. Kelly, portrayed as Zack's girlfriend in the 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell, shared a real-life connection with Mark Paul Gosselaar. Lark Voorhees, Gosselaar's girlfriend for three years, including the Saved by the Bell Hawaiian-style production, was the one behind the character. Interestingly, the show's portrayal of their on-screen relationship reflected their genuine connection. In contrast, despite their on-screen camaraderie, Mark Paul Gosselaar and Dustin Diamond had no off-screen relationship. Gosselaar, however, expressed kind words for Diamond on social media following the latter's passing, a departure from the rest of the cast's silence on the matter. Their on-screen friendship, it appears, didn't translate into a real-life bond. For Gosselaar, maintaining Zack's signature blonde hair came with its own routine. He had to dye his hair every two weeks throughout the show's run. 
this behind the scenes detail sheds light on the efforts invested to maintain the character's appearance and continuity throughout Saved by the Bell. In essence, the personal relationships and grooming challenges behind the scenes add a layer of reality to the characters we enjoyed watching. These off-camera dynamics, while not always evident, contribute to the authenticity of the iconic series. Dustin Diamond and Tori Spelling shared their first on-screen kiss during the series. Interestingly, actors like Jenny Garth, Jaleel White, Jonathan Brandes, and Brian Austin Green auditioned for roles, with White, Brandes, and Green appearing in the pilot episode of Good Morning, Miss Bliss. The show underwent significant changes, transitioning from Good Morning, Miss Bliss at John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, to Saved by the Bell at Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California. Many characters were removed in the process, leaving only Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Gosselaar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees to make the move. The relocation to California was never explained, leading to a fan theory that the entire show might be Zach Morris's daydream. Zach, a slacker who dreams of being a cool, successful kid, possesses the ability to do a timeout, temporarily stopping time and breaking the fourth wall. Supporters of this theory point to the show's theme song and Zach's seemingly unrealistic escapades. In essence, behind the scenes auditions and the show's intriguing evolution from Good Morning, Miss Bliss contribute to the unique narrative of Saved by the Bell, offering a glimpse into the casting process and the series' imaginative storyline. Executive producer Peter Engel maintained a no-swearing policy on the set of the TV series. This decision aimed to uphold a professional atmosphere during production. Despite initial reluctance, this rule contributed to a focused and disciplined working environment. In a February 4, 2015 reunion sketch on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, original cast members Elizabeth Berkeley, Mark Paul Gosselaar, Dennis Haskins, Mario Lopez, and Tiffany Thiessen participated. The sketch, featuring Fallen as a Bayside High student, humorously recreated iconic moments. However, Dustin Diamond and Lark Voorhees were absent. Diamond's non-participation was attributed to prior commitments, legal issues, and strained relationships with the cast, while Voorhees' representative cited her busy schedule as the reason for her absence. Notably, Saved by the Bell graduation had already been filmed when additional episodes were ordered. Due to Thiessen and Berkeley's commitments to other projects, Lena Creel was cast as Tori, and her episodes were strategically aired in the final season to avoid continuity problems. The storyline rationalized the simultaneous presence of Tori, Kelly, and Jesse at Bayside with distinct classes and social interactions with the main characters. These behind-the-scenes aspects, from set discipline to reunion dynamics and strategic episode planning, provide insight into the series' production intricacies and how decisions shaped its narrative. Following its debut, Saved by the Bell quickly became a teenage sensation in the United States. Within just four weeks on air, NBC's research revealed that a staggering 50% of teenage girls in the country were tuning in to watch the show. This unprecedented level of popularity solidified its status as a cultural phenomenon. Dustin Diamond, a pivotal figure in the series, held a unique record until the end of its run. He was the sole actor to appear consistently in every episode, spin-off, and movie associated with the show. However, his absence from the reboot was conspicuous, marked only by a memorial montage featuring clips of his portrayal as Screech. Diamond's passing on February 1, 2021, at the age of 44, marked the end of an era for the beloved series. A subtle detail in Mr. Belding's office adds an interesting touch to the show's set. Among the various degrees displayed, one notably stands out a degree in Kung Fu positioned above the filing cabinet near his desk. This small, quirky element adds a layer of humor and intrigue to the character's office, showcasing the attention to detail that contributed to the show's charm. In essence, the show's meteoric rise in viewership, Dustin Diamond's enduring contribution, and the quirky details in the set design all play a part in the unique fabric of Saved by the Bell, offering insight into its cultural impact and behind-the-scenes nuances.